In this video, I'm going to show you how to fade in and fade out audio and MIDI regions in Logic Pro. What's going on? It's Casey. Welcome to my channel. So I'm going to show you how to fade in and fade out an audio region first. So let's start off with the audio region. I've got this mix here that I've been working on for an incredible artist. There'll be a link in the description to check out his music if you like that sort of thing. So I've got this audio region here. I've already cut up some of the vocals. So I'm going to listen to this section here. Then I buried it. Growing up, I used to give it. Now I act like I don't, but I maybe do just a little bit. So I just made it a clean version. And if you look here, this would be the perfect place to create a fade. If you want to cut a selection, my favorite is to use the marquee tool. And I've made that my second choice after the cursor. And all you do is press command, find your spot and click. Double click and make your cut. So let's fade that little piece out there. We're going to use the fader tool. No shit, Sherlock. Now there's a couple of ways you can get the fader tool up. You can go up to your selection and you can choose the fader tool, which is this one here, fade tool. But I like to use shortcuts and the shortcut for that is T, which will bring up all your tools and then A. So then you just hover at the top corner of the audio and this will create a fade. You can create the fade however long you want it to be. Small fade or a really long fade. Now I give it. And that will help you to prevent pops and clicks. And that's how you fade out. To fade in, you start at the beginning of the region, top left corner, and just drag across, nice and simple. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, you can select your region, go up to more, where it says fade in, you can double click, put a number in there, five milliseconds, and fade out, and go five, and then that can create another fade. There's also another way you can do it as well. So it depends on how you want to do things, what suits your workflow. So we're just going to get rid of those fades. And the other way to do it, which is quite a cool way to do things, and it's quick, is hold, shift, and control, hover at the top corners of the audio and make your fade. So you don't have to press T and A to bring up the fade tool if you don't want to. Find what works for you and speeds up your workflow because it's all about speed when it comes to editing. So that's your audio regions. An example here, if you, if you know. so if you've got two bits of audio that are joining together, say for example, this part here, there's an S. Yes, is normally look like American footballs. So you selected your S and you want to bring the S down a touch and then you might bring it down with your gain. But then you've got the two parts where the audio joins. You can create a fade, a nice crossfade. Select your fade tool again, and then just create a fade, a crossfade in between. So that'll prevent any pops or any clicks from happening in between them two parts. I used to give it. So we can bring that S down a bit more. Growing up, I used to give it. Now I act like I. And maybe create a little fade on that little end piece, and we're good. You can also, if you've got a whole region, if a lot of cuts and you want to do the whole lot, you can. Highlight the region, get your fade tool, start at the, your first point and at the end point, it's going to fade all of them regions. So now you know how to create a fade on your audio region, I'm going to show you some cool effects that you can use to either speed up or slow down the fade. Nice little effects trick that you can use when you're mixing or making beats. So you've created your fade and then all you do is just right click, hit slow down. Nice. And then you can also speed up as well. So you create your fade to speed up. Right click and then hit speed up and then that will speed up. So as if a, a record starting. And we create a little fade there to slow down. Cool effects trick. So I'm just going to show you how you can fade in and fade out when you're using MIDI. But unlike audio, you can't use a fade tool. So we're going to use automation. Make that nice and big. Press A and it's going to bring up your automation window. All you need to do is just create two nodes at the beginning. So if you want to fade in, create another node. And then we're just going to drag it right down to zero. And then you can hear how it fades in. And if you want to fade out, it's the same thing again, but this time at the end of the MIDI region, create two nodes. The last node, you want to bring it all the way down to the to zero and then just fade out wherever you want to fade out. Now let's say you want to fade out your whole song. So I'm just going to show you now how to fade out the whole song. So we go to the output, right click, show output track. So we show output track, then we press A and then it's going to give us the automation. We want to turn that on. Display on volume. Again, create two nodes. Bring the last one down to where you want to fade out. Make the second node where you want the fade out to end. And the first one where you want the fade out to start. So 
So if you press Shift and Control or T and W gives you this tool where you can create a curve. You can create all types of curves. So it doesn't sound so linear. It's like a more of a gradual process. Guys, if you want to know how to speed up your workflow and get your ideas out there much, much quicker, then watch the next video as I'll show you how to create templates in Logic Pro. I'll see you in the next video.